A common validation rule on the opportunity object is one where an amount needs to be entered in order to move an opportunity to closed one. This makes sure whenever your sales reps are moving an opportunity to close one, there's actually a dollar amount associated with it. So in Salesforce, you can report how much money your business is bringing in. As you can see on this opportunity right now, we don't have a dollar amount associated with it. You can see it here on the detail page layout as well as in the compact layout. I'm going to mark this opportunity as close one so you can see the validation rule in effect. I'm going to go over here to the close stage, select close stage and mark it as closed one. And you can see we have the validation rule error pop up and it says an amount must be entered in order to move this opportunity to closed one. Let's add an amount to this opportunity and now let's give it a try. You can see that it was successfully done now that we have an amount. Taking a look at the validation rule, you can see that it's wrapped in an AND function, which is going to check whether all arguments are true. Then we're utilizing an is changed function that is going to look at whether or not the stage of an opportunity has changed. Then we're using the is pick val function to look at whether or not that stage name that it's been moved to equals closed one. After that, we've added an or function, which is going to look at whether one of these two arguments are true. If one of these arguments are true, this entire or function will be true. And since it's nested inside of an and function, if these two arguments are true, then the entire validation rule will equal true, and that will cause the error to populate. So here we're checking whether or not it's less than or equal to zero, because most likely most businesses aren't going to be winning deals that are a negative value for their business. We're also checking whether or not there's even a value inside of the amount fields, because it could potentially, as you saw on the opportunity before I ran it, there could potentially be no dollar amount associated in here. It could be just a completely blank field. So that's why we've gone ahead and added the is null function in here that's looking at the amount. And what the is null function does is checks whether an expression is null and returns true or false. We're going to check the syntax, no errors, save. And that's how you create a validation rule that makes sure your sales users are not marking opportunity as close one unless there's a dollar amount associated with it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you'd like to watch more Salesforce validation rule videos, click on the playlist on the left side of the page. You're also welcome to watch our latest upload on the right. Make sure to subscribe by clicking in the middle of the page to be notified when we post more Salesforce content, and it would mean a lot if you could like this video as well.